Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me today. I am super excited about this card. Um, I absolutely love, this is one of my favorite stamp sets that I'm using, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. And so, um, it didn't start out that way though. So the stamp sets that I'm using, which is one of my favorites, is the Total Chaos stamp set uh, from Visible Image, as well as Scripted Streets. And I am using these Aqua Pastels from Jane Davenport. Uh, you can use any crayons. You can use your um, Tim Holtz sticks or if you have the Neo colors. Uh, these are just basically water soluble crayons and so they work really well with water or a baby wipe. And um, I picked these up from Tuesday morning. I don't have any of them and so why not? <laughs> um, but I do have crayons that I could have used. I just, uh, one of those impulse purchases, I think more than anything else. Uh, but you can use it, even use your gelatos for this uh, because they work kind of in the same way. And so basically I'm just taking some colors and scribbling in a few different spots. And I love this color combination. I think I use it a lot. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and first take a baby wipe. And the piece of paper that I'm using is a piece of Canson Bristol uh, Smooth Cardstock. Um, and so it does move really well on this cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some water and dip my fingers in it and then move the color that way. I kind of like that because it's kind of messy and it's like finger painting almost. And so um, I think it's really fun. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the color around that piece of paper until I get it spread out the way that I want to. But as you can see, the color moves like super easy. And once I have that done and the panel is dry, I'm going to take both the stamps from the Scripted Streets stamp set. So one of them is kind of like a map in a way, and the other is the scripty font with the ink splotches, which is one of my favorite stamps. <laughs> and so I'm just going to ink that up in some VersaFine Claire Nocturne. I have it stuck on my hand, and I am just going to go around this panel and ink up until I get the look that I want. Uh, this is going to basically be the background for the flowers and so I'm going to go ahead after this and ink up the big flower as well as several of the leaves that come in the Total Chaos set and again I'm using some VersaFine Claire. And I've already gone ahead and used my anti-static bag on the panel since I will be using some embossing, um, clear embossing powder. And I didn't want to get that all over the panel. I just wanted the images, the floral images and the leaves to be um, heat embossed. And so I'm going to go ahead and add that clear embossing powder and then heat set that. And so I really love the way this looks. I would use this for a background um, just by itself, just because I love the way it looks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start out by cutting out the leaves. And I wasn't too sure what I was gonna do with the flowers. I knew I was gonna do some paper piecing, um, but as far as anything other than that, I was not really um, super sure. So I just went ahead and I cut out the entire uh, floral piece until um, I think mainly so that I could see how it would go against my background and then I went ahead and I grabbed several of the crayons again and I added them to a piece of watercolor cardstock that had been treated with some gesso and I am moving that color around and then I will take the ripped fishnet stencil and put that over the pastels while they're still wet and then take a baby wipe and pick up some of that color um, this was going to be my background and I did not end up loving it. I thought it was too much color and so what I did was I went ahead and started cutting out the pieces uh, for my paper piecing of the petals of the flower and just laying them on this uh, image that I have stamped to see uh, where which petals I wanted to fill in and then I decided to go ahead and create another flower image and uh, that is this one and so I did use the scripted street stamp set again stamp that flower up again heat embossed it and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and I think it was at this point that I decided that I really love the way that the black and white looks um, as the background and that is when I decided I would kind of go ahead and change it uh, but I'm getting my layout here of where I want my petals and so I am going to go ahead and 
adhere all those with some liquid glue. So I'm just taking my little pick tool with the kind of sticky rubber end and picking up that paper and setting that on top of that liquid glue. And then I'll set a uh, acrylic block on top of it so that it can dry. And I'm going to start on my background that I end up using for the card. And I am going to grab a piece of, I believe I use watercolor paper for this. And the size that I cut it to is six and three quarters by four and a half. Um, and I originally did want the bigger size card just to make sure that I could fit the flower on because it's a pretty large stamp. And I'm going to take the stamps from the Scripted Streets and some VersaFine Claire and Nocturne and just uh, fill up that background with the stamps. And then I've prepped my background with a anti-static bag because I will be clear embossing this. And so um, I went ahead and I stamped up the flower again and used some clear embossing ink. And I'll go ahead and heat that up. Uh, mainly I just wanted the stem, but just in case, in case I change my mind, I did go ahead and stamp up the entire piece. And then, so this background is not gonna waste. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this circle piece that it had been stamped up previously for my background. I will also use the background as a mat for the piece that I do end up keeping. And so I'm going to grab what I need from that background and I also used that to stamp up the word creativity and that's going to go on my main card panel and so I'll go ahead and cut that out. And then I am trying to figure out how I want this to lay out. And I try several different things until I figure out what I want. Um, and then I'm going to start adhering the pieces. I popped up the flower and the creativity word with some of the thin foam. And then everything else is just liquid glue uh, straight to the card panel. And then to give this a little bit of support, because this piece of paper that I'm using as the mat is a thinner piece of cardstock, I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to a... I believe it's a 120 pound piece of cardstock uh, just for a little bit more stability. And this is probably not something I'm going to mail out. I will more than likely um, keep this and hang it up somewhere in my craft room. And I'm going to get ready to um, adhere the card panel to the main piece. Um, but I wanted to take a few of these pieces of scraps and add them around the card. So I end up taking two of the scrap pieces and adhering those to the mat. And then I'm going to take some double-sided adhesive and adhere my main panel. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add a little bit of this morning dew. It's like the um, glossy accents, I guess you could say. Uh, it dries clear. And so I went ahead and added that to several of the little kind of splatter circle things and uh, that's going to finish my card. Um, I hope you like it. I really love how this turned out. And so if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I don't know if I'll have another video for the holiday tomorrow. So if I don't get that in, then um, happy Thanksgiving to all of those in the States. Um, if you celebrate, uh, I hope you have a safe and a fun holiday. And that is it for me. Again, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much.